Goofy first appeared in... Uh, maybe watch the video first before you leave a comment? Anyway, uh, hey! Okay, so when I made my video about what happened to Mrs. Goofy, I had a lot of comments argue what Goofy even is. Is he a cow or a dog? Mickey's a mouse, Donald's a duck, Pluto's a dog. What's Goofy? And to me, the answer's obvious, right? He's a dog. But the more I dug into this, the answer was surprisingly more complicated than I realized. So let's answer this once and for all. What is Goofy? I said watch the video first! So the speculation of Goofy being a cow has a few origins. In House of Mouse, Goofy dates Clarabelle Cow, a relationship that is continued in The Three Musketeers, The Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, Minnie's Bow Tunes, and Mickey and the Roaster Racers. Oh, Goofy, you're a marvelous friend. Given that Mickey has Minnie and Donald has Daisy, this may have been an attempt to give Goofy his own love interest. So to those who claim that Clarabelle was Max's mother, I can finally go, aha! Max appears in Goof Troop, which aired in 1992, and House of Mouse aired nearly a full decade later in 2001. So shut up, I am never wrong. I said shut up! So the theory is, because Clarabelle is a cow, and Goofy is often paired with her, he must therefore also be a cow. But this ignores a lot of interspecies relationships, like Kermit and Miss Piggy, Roger and Jessica Rabbit, Donkey and Dragon, me and Lola Bunny. Oh, whoops, how did that one get in there? Silly boy. You can't define a character based solely on their romantic interests, unless it's Pepe Le Pew. Plus, Goofy has had other relationships, and Clarabelle attended Goofy's wedding to a sandwich, and I'm pretty sure he's not a sandwich. One of the main culprits of the Goofy is a cow rumor stems from this 2012 article, which claims that the Disney establishment is hiding the fact Goofy is a cow. Specifically, an Aberdeen Angus cow to explain the lack of horns. Not that Goofy is lacking in any horn. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. But what compelling arguments does this article make? Goofy's buck teeth are flat, characteristic of a herbivore, and his nose is larger than that of a dog's. That's it. It further claims that Goofy's real name is Tipawa Dewala, born in Scotland and had to be trained with a different accent to avoid controversy with American nationalists. That Clarabelle got mad cow disease, forcing the cancellation of Goof Troop, a show she was not in. But then Max got mad cow disease and he died. So, you see, this is obviously a joke, right? This was made to be a comedy article, but like how sometimes people think that Onion articles are real, people read the top line, and it was just believable enough for them to accept as a tidbit of trivia. So there, Goofy is not a cow. He's a dog, right? Right? But before I can address the naked truth of Goofy, I need to address these naked walls. <laughs> Cover yourself before we get age-gated! Well, lucky for me, this video is sponsored by Displate. Displates are high-quality metal posters with over a million print-on-demand designs to suit every taste. They deliver fast and are easy to put up thanks to their magnet mounting system. Is that easy? I bagged myself some Synthwave-influenced pieces because they just look so cool, just like me. In fact, you can check out some more of my recommendations on my Displate profile. There's Marvel, retro-themed, gorgeous artworks, and more. And for every one display poster sold, a tree is planted in Tanzania. And I love trees! So, click the link in the description and bag yourself 23% off for every one to two posters and 29% off for free posters and more. So click that link for an exclusive display discount. <laughs> there, now my walls are dressed and... Oh no! My ceiling is naked! No! No! So is Goofy a dog or what? Goofy first appeared in Mickey's Review in 1932, but it was originally named Dippy Dog. And in Roger Rabbit, he self-identifies as a dog. I'll tell you one thing, Doc. He weren't no rabbit. Or a duck. Or a dog. Or a little wooden boy. So that's it. He's a dog. Why is this in doubt? Oh, Pluto! In the Mickey universe, literal dogs exist, including Pluto, and Goofy is clearly not one of them. Big. Oh, baby, please don't be like that. She meant nothing to me. Even Goof Troop has a pet dog named Chainsaw, and someone in the Goof Troop fandom really needs to calm down. Go touch some grass. Pluto debuted in the 1930 Mickey Mouse short, The Chain Gang, 
two years before Goofy and completes the group known as the Sensational Six. Two mice, two ducks, and yeah. I'm great with dogs. Sometimes it's like I'm one of the family. So, for Goofy and Pluto to coexist, it calls into question if Goofy is really a dog. More ammunition for the pro-cow movement. Goofy can walk upright, Pluto cannot. Goofy can talk, Pluto cannot. But if ducks can coexist with Donald Duck, does that make him not really a duck? No, yeah. no, yeah. Since his dippy days, the character of Goofy was developed and refined by Art Babbitt, who said, it is true that there is a vague similarity in the construction of the goof's head and Pluto's. The use of the eyes, mouth and ears are entirely different. One is a dog, the other human. Wait, he's a what? <laughs> Disney once officially confirmed Goofy as a human with Goofy was created as a human character as opposed to Pluto who was a pet. In the 1950s, Goofy was given a much more humanoid makeover for the How To series. Fleshy skin and no droopy ears, other than the snout, he was distinctly not dog-like. This was to cast him as something of an everyman, someone relatable in everyday situations. Someone to be more human. This everyman routine continued through Goof Troop, which explains how they can own cats and dogs, and into the Goofy movies. I mean, what animal is Roxanne supposed to be anyway? Fleshy skin, no droopy ears? She's just a human, right? With a bit of a round nose. So perhaps in this goofy world, this is just what humans look like. Stylized to resemble dogs in some way, but a character of a human nonetheless. Art Babbitt again describes Goofy's human characteristics like this. Think of the goof as a composite of an everlasting optimist, a gullible good Samaritan, a half-wit, a shiftless, good-natured... Ah. Oh, fuck. Okay. Oh, boy. When making Soul, co-director Pete Docter said... There's a long and painful history of caricatured racist design tropes that were used to mock African Americans. So along with co-director Kent Powers, they reapproached the design of their characters to avoid historical stereotypes. For example, blackface minstrels and vaudeville shows had a massive impact on early cartoons in many unfortunate ways, continuing the traditions well after the makeup was taken off. And their influence can still be felt today, such as the white gloves, which conveniently helped with the black hands on black bodies characters that were popular at the time, and have now become a staple of cartoon character design. Why do you even wear gloves? Because I've always worn them. It's who I am. Why do you wear that thing around your neck? Now, obviously, no one is trying to cancel Goofy. He's been around for like 90 years and has changed and evolved in that time. His racial caricature origins are a product of its time, which is hard to ignore. But then, maybe we shouldn't. Let's learn from the mistakes of the past rather than pretend they never happened. After all, to err is human. Okay, so what is Goofy? Look at you! That's not normal! I mean, what are you? He's definitely not a cow, but if he's not a dog or a human, then what could he be? A horse? A bear? An NFT? In a review for a Goofy movie, according to Roger Ebert, Goofy's voice actor Bill Farmer said, Goofy is a sort of missing link between dog and man. And in a 2020 interview, Bill Farmer said, He is not a dog. Pluto is a dog. But Goofy seems to be in the canine family in the same way that maybe a wolf is not a dog, but they are in the canine family. I think it's a uh, canis goofus is the technical Latin term for what Goofy is. He's just Goofy. So it turns out Goofy is Goofy, which feels like a cop out. But you know, Goofy is often cited as just being a goof. Like father, like goof. And before his name change, he became Dippy the Goof. So maybe that's just it. Maybe a goof is just a special type of creature. Undefinable by nature, logic, and reason. Not quite a dog, but not quite a man. Something else entirely. Something in between. In other words, Goofy is a werewolf! Hey, it's me! There! I cracked it! I'm a genius! Oh sure, when Disney mix a dog with a human, they create one of the most famous cartoon characters of all time. But when I do it, all I get is arrested! That's it! <laughs> Special thanks to Display for sponsoring this video. Don't forget to check them out, link in the description. 
as it's coming up to Christmas, this month's patron shout-outs will be festive style. Ashley McCarthy, Joel the Gay Noodle Jennings, Nathan Charwi Naughty, Aaron is Charmy, <laughs> Mo Al Kesemi, Joe Wood Vinny Vex, Maestry Investment Group Limited, Slow School Craft, Brett Halford, Oh, Mark Hunter, Matthew Smith, and Setsune Wave, Clan Wamsley, Rusty Robot, Louis Weston, Louis Weston twice, twice, Jake Pinkerton, Ashley Kinder, and Tom Lemon Teeth. And if you want to support me, you can do so on Patreon. Hey!